Hello guys, this is Afcor, and I actually want to talk about the last hero for the week, and that's Quint. Um, Quint needs no explanation, really. He's an overall good unit. There's nothing really bad to say about him. There are a couple of concerns that people have with Quint, that the fact that he's so broken. But the thing is, Quint is free, and that justifies his existence. The fact that he's so powerful is offset by the fact that he's a free unit. Some of our best units are not free. Um, say for instance, Terminator is not free. Uh, Bill's not free. Vera's not free. Sadie's not free. And of course, Connor, John Connor's definitely not free. So this guy is kind of a welcome, uh, a welcome addition. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Welcome addition. Um, let's go over his overall stats, and then we'll go over his skills, and we'll look more in depth in his kit and why this guy is so good. Um, first of all, Quint has a balanced pool of utility. He's got decent control because he has stun, he has move, because he does have mobility in the skill set. He does have high damage and burst and assist. I think his survival should be a little higher, but I guess they say that his HP is a little lower than normal. He is an A unit. So he can't get like the the um, S level stats, and that's fine. But he's really good, so it doesn't matter. Um, one thing to consider with Quint is that you have to actually know what you're doing with him. You can't just like throw his skills out like randomness. First, you have to actually build up his uh, rage, and then he becomes very um, incredible. Let's go over his uh, skill set real quick. Profound meaning of bomb. Passive effect increases movement speed when throwing a smoke bomb lasts for 5 seconds. Gorilla status. Throw a smoke bomb causing a big area of explosion and continuous smoke effect. Cannot auto aiming in direction of dragging or auto aiming with 162.5% damage. Additional 749% damage. Enemy who, threw, who throws the smoke bomb and whose weapon is hit by the smoke bomb will increase rage. So he gets hit and uh, if he does damage, increases rage. Onslaught status. A tactical roll to the direction of, the, of dragging or auto-aiming and leaves a gooey bomb on the ground. 162.5% damage with 749 damage and slowed effect so we'll see it right here and his rage builds up and he gets the movement skill <laughs> it's such crap um let's, let's go on uh rage grenade reduces damage when starting onslaught status lasts for five seconds gorilla status rage not full Throw a detonator causing an explosion where with 71.1% additional additional 319 damage. Full raise throw and add absorbent grenade in the direction of dragging causing a short ad, absorbent effect and a big area of explosion with 162.5% 162 damage. With an additional 749 damage, the main weapon is changed to a throwing bomb button. This is really important. The main weapon is switched to throwing attack and start onslaught status. Onslaught status. Pour the left bomb around and ignite and repel enemies with 162.5% damage with additional 749 damage and then start gorilla status. Alright, that's the first attack. Okay, Gorilla status is normal. Onslaught is like rage mode or whatever. So, you have Gorilla status, you throw your um, bomb, and then this is your rage status. Alright. Jackal soul, whatever. Using smoke bombs and attacking 
enemies in the smoke bombs will add, can add rage. When rage is full, can cast rage grenade skill to start onslaught status. Immune to death when dying, restore some HP afterward with three seconds of damage reduction effect. Drop grenades when dead to deal damage to enemies nearby. This is this does, this requires no like weapon to get all this. So he gets rage when he attacks. When his rage is full, he can he can cast his rage grenade skill and start onslaught status. If you kill him, he gets some, he gets to revive and restore some HP, and he gets damage reduction. This is super important, um, especially in one v one. If you die, the strategy is to run away. Because you have the defense to run away for a little bit. If you're not fight, fighting John Connor, this is like the best option for you. You can run away, um, kill a kill a, mil, a minion, and you can start um, this thing all over again. It might not last as long as when you started, but you're still um, you're still getting some longevity in battle. The drop grenades when dead to deal damage to nearby enemies is super important. I die from this a lot, so I know that is good, especially when you're. Um, attacking an enemy and you kill them and you get caught and the explosion right after will kill you like especially when you're in the corner or you're under the main boss this will work so this jackal saw is incredible incredible passive um level effect hurricane movement increases the movement smoke when throwing smoke bombs really good um what does it say uh, you move faster and throwing smoke bombs when you're um when you're doing that garbage right there you move faster which kind of sucks um but um this this weapon the laser l7 laser rifle is extremely hard to get um if you're a pay player you can get it easily you can get it from uh go to vip real quick um, Um, you can get the L7 over time in, in the VIP place. But this is this is one of the um, I guess flaws in Quint, so to speak, when it comes to his uh, passive. Because um, this is not an easy um weapon to get. And sometimes they have it in the shop uh, where you can. Uh, you can come here to weapon, uh, I mean, sorry about that. When you come here to the shop and, uh, and go weapon, um, sometimes they sell, sometimes they sell it here, but m most of the time it's the L6. It's not L7, so that's, that's one of the, I guess, concerns you can have with, um, Quint. Um, that's a, that's a hard skill to awaken. Um, it's not for free-to-play players, definitely. Um, steel movement, start onslaught status, and reduce damage. Basically, you, it allows you to um, enact onslaught status without um, a TBC4. Um, you can't. Um, what can I say about this? This is kind of like, I struggle with my free-to-play account, where... Um, a lot of my um, better characters, like uh, Metal Bill and whatnot, they need these weapons. And if you don't spend money or if you don't focus your diamond usage, you're going to miss out on passives like this. So you can get this uh, in the training ground. You can get it in boss battle. You can't get it in team adventure. Um, and you can get it at special events. But you, but you're, it's quicker to spend money to get it. So that's kind of rough. Um, rage soldier with chances to add rage in normal attacks. This is really important for Quint. Um, you kind of really need this. And it kind of sucks that assault grenade launcher is so hard to get. You can get it in um, City of Ash. One of the main ways you can get it, City of Ash. Sometimes they sell it in um, the shop. And uh, I haven't seen it in team battles. And later on in boss in the um, boss challenge, you can get it. Another hard weapon to get, especially if you're free to play. This is pretty hard to get. 
Um, you have to rely on special events. You have to be smart when you do special events. You got to um, look for this weapon. And you actually got to just dedicate resources to getting it. There's other weapons you could get. But um, like I said in the earlier video, you have to focus your resources on things that you want. And if you're a Quint player, you really want the assault grenade launcher at three stars. Because you want to be able to add rage at any moment in time. You want to be in onslaught mode most of the time. That's where Quint does his magic. And uh, yeah, that's the problem I have with Quint. Um, it's not him as a as a character. It's, he's a free-to-play character. Um, and he's friendly, but his passives are kind of expensive. Like this one, Bombardment. An enemy will enter Disney's status at bomb by detonators for four times. This is really important for Quint. Um, Quint's passives make or break him. Uh, kind of like uh, your boy um, Ray Powered. So, Bombardment is really important. To hit a guy four times with detonators is pretty easy. It's easier in 3v3. And uh, it's kind of easy in... Um, No, it's, it is easy in 1v1. It is easy in 1v1. It, this, is, this is why it kind of sucks. Because this weapon, you can get at 1 stars. But in order to level it to 3 stars, it's really long and expensive. That's the problem I have with Quint. Now, Blizzard is easy to get. Um, you can get it in boss battle. You can... Uh, you can... Um, actually get it in uh, training ground. You can get a lot. You can get it in. Um, you can't get it in. Uh, yeah, you can get it in team battle too. Yeah, and team adventure later on. You can get um Blizzard. So Blizzard is. You can get Blizzard. Um, it's just it's kind of hard to get, and uh, I think go to AK rifle is harder to get. You can actually um buy and <laughs> buy it literally. You literally can go to a shop. You literally can go to monthly pass and you can actually purchase this. But I, I think this is garbage. I think this is like a garbage deal. You can get 20, like, uh, 200, 2,000 diamonds immediately. And you get like 30 frags. So you get 30 fragments of golden AK rifle. And uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a crap deal. I think the best deal is the monthly card. The eight ninety nine, but if you really are dedicated to your uh, Quint, that's the way to go. Because he needs his passives. Um, as a a hero, a good a heroes <laughs> rely on their passives, just like good S heroes rely on their passives. And Quint definitely relies on his passives because all of these are like make or break. It's kind of scary that they're make or break. This is really good. Jackal Soul is the foundation, but these these other ones really put Quint over the top. So that's my only concern with Quint. As a hero, he's really good. Um, there's nothing there's nothing bad to say about him really. Let's go to weapons. You'll understand why Quint's good. Um, Quint benefits from uh, like many good heroes from being able to use a variety of weapons. I would say that Shadow Infernal Cannon. And, uh, for free to play players, uh, Burst Infernal Cannon, it just adds to a stun power and it has burn effect. So you get stun, burn, and slow when you combine all his skills in the, in the weapon. Because, uh, Shadow Infernal Cannon is known for stun. Go to end. 4A1 or any um, assault rifle is good for Quint because it allows him to build his rage extremely fast. Sniper rifles I am against because Quint is like an up close and personal play, uh, player unit. You really need to be in somebody's face to get the most out of him. Mid range or close range is where he uh, does his uh, damage. The only long range weapon I really consider is uh, the grenade launcher, golden crusher, C16 creator. C16 career is good if you can if you have the resources. Um, for budget, Crusher Rocket Launcher works well. Yeah, yeah, it works well. And plasma throw is all right on Quint. Like if you construct a team, a three-man team with Terminator, 
This is what makes Quint good because he's flexible. He can use Plasma Thrower because half the time you're actually in uh, rage mode. So you don't worry about um, ammo. If you pair this with a thrower or a, uh, a sight rifle or a shadow cannon, he works fine with that. And throwers are good on Quinn as well. Uh, Titan Center is good on Quinn. He can benefit from this as well. Um, it depends on your play style and the units that you want to create your core team with, your core team of three. If you're just doing 3v3, uh, Golden Crusher and uh, Shadow Fire Cannon work just fine. Like I said, he benefits from being able to use a lot of different weapons. I mean, you can you can you can actually get away with using Power of Zeus or um, Budget Electric Air Gun. It's really up to you. Um, yeah, Quinn is really good. He's really good hero. Only big problems with Quinn is that if, if you're a free to play player, you're gonna have to um, spend some resources. And make wise decisions to get unlock his passive. His play style is this. You want to actually start attacking before you even see the opponent in order to build up your rage. And when you get next to your opponent, you just want to attack them with your um, profound meaning, meaning of bomb. And then you just get into your onslaught mode and then that's when you start just ripping the opponent apart. The stuns this dude does is incredible. Another strategy with Quint is when you throw your... Um, when you throw your, uh, which one is it? Oh, this one. When you, when you um, activate your profile meaning of the bomb. But there, there it goes. You, you want to get as close to the opponent as possible. You just want to just lay into him. Because once you hit him with four those four strikes, you get, the, you get this done. And it's almost over. Another strategy with Quint. Is when you throw this bomb, you actually want to either be on top of the opponent or under the opponent because the vortex will pull them and just throw apart their strategy. There's many there's many ways that Quint can effectively destroy the opponent. If you're fighting against Quint, you actually want to take your time and read your opponent's movements. If he goes up, you, you want to know if they're going up or down because good Quint players will pace themselves and then move in. You want to pressure Quint when he's not ready. When he's out of rage mode, you, you want to go after him. Even if it costs you the life of a man, you just want to get Quint off the board. And that's the best way to deal with him. When he's not in rage mode, kill him. And that's the only way to deal with him, really. But if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great one. Laters.